Hi, Danny Hill, American River Ace Hardware. Today we'll be doing three to one ribs. Simple to do recipe, and they turn out great every time. Uh, we got some going on the Kamado Joe right here. We're on step two right now. I'll explain shortly, because it is a long process. But last night, took the membrane off all the rib racks and I applied a dry rub to them. Uh, used this one today, or last night, for the ribs today. It's an apple honey Traeger dry rub. Real good stuff. Set them on the grates, completely exposed. So it's just dry rubbed at this point with the membrane removed. Uh, on a smoke setting, if you have a Traeger, it'll be a smoke setting. Uh, if you are cooking on anything else, you want your temperature to be <laughs> preferably around 200 degrees. A lot of the ceramic grills, the lowest temperature you can maintain is around 225, so we'll stick with that. Um, on, on this Timberline model, I do 190 degrees and I apply the super smoke setting while I'm doing the three hour smoke. Um, the pro model Traegers, by all means, you do use the dial, the smoke setting, and it done it a hundred times and it turns out great every time. At 12 o'clock, three hours later, we wrapped them up with a, using an apricot barbecue sauce, Traegers apricot barbecue sauce. Highly, highly recommend it. And so will many other people. <laughs> uh, a lot of good customer review. And um, that two hours, you'll want to change it now. All the recipes pretty much will show 225 for the two hours. I per personally like 250 degrees. And then uh, 275 will make it a lot more tender and almost where it's falling off the almost guaranteed to come off the bone whether you want it to or not. So that two hour setting is perfect for doing rib meat sandwiches where you just put the meat side down and you can just flick the bones out of the out of the rib and cut it right where the cavity is where the bone was and put it right in a little hoggy roll and a uh, little barbecue sauce on top and it's be the best rib meat sandwich you've ever had. At that point you'll carefully unfold the tin foil to remove the rack of ribs from the foil and it will be very hot steam coming out so be very careful. Um, you'll at that point take them out of the foil exposed on the grate at your temperature that you're cooking at for an hour with a, a glaze on top of what sauce you prefer and you can change the sauce at that point as well. So when you're applying the, the last glaze over the, over the meat when you're doing the last one hour of the 3 two, one you're on the one hour part, you're exposed on the grate, you gotta put your other sauce on it. If you've used a, uh, like a sweeter sauce, like this apricot has a little bit of sweetness to it, you can add something with a little more heat to it and get a nice little binder in there, but it's with a, a nice layer because at that point it's kind of sealed in there. Well, welcome back. Finally made it to six hours. We're on our last step. We're pulling them off. We've sauced them. Those are ready to eat. And these guys I did a, a 300, 275, so they're extremely tender. These ones will be great for rib meat sandwiches. That concludes the six hour rib cook.